Here we go. One, two, three. With advanced approvals from Salesforce CPQ, it's easy to create independent approval chains that shorten the approval cycle. Let's take a look. Here, adding a 40% discount has triggered a discount approval. Previewing the approval reveals that three levels of management need to sign off on such a significant discount. Modifying the payment terms for the same customer will trigger an additional legal review. But by once again previewing the approvals, you can see that a separate parallel approval chain has been started for the payment terms. So there's no need to wait for the discount approval to come through first. Here are four steps to set up advanced approvals with Salesforce CPQ. First, create a new approver. Navigate to the approver object and click new. Then give the approver an appropriate descriptive name. Approvers can be single users or groups. Search the user field to locate single users or the group ID field to find the correct group in Salesforce. You can also delegate temporary approvers if the primary approver is on vacation. Then create a new approval chain. Navigate to the approval chain object, click new and give it a name. In the target object field, select the object that you want to run the approval process off of. Include additional objects by adding their API name to the pick list. Then click Save. Next, create new approval rules. Navigate to Approval Rules and click New. Then give the rule a descriptive name, mark it as active, and define the object that the rule evaluates when a user submits a record for an approval. Determine where this step fits in the chain and which approver the request should go to. Approval chains can send approvals to several approvers in sequence or in parallel paths. Then set the combination of conditions the rule must meet in order to evaluate an approval. Email templates can also be included to notify users of record submission, rejection, recall, or approval. And finally, define the conditions that will trigger the approval rule. Navigate to Approval Conditions and click New. If the approval rule evaluates several conditions in a logical statement, provide an index value for referencing each condition. Select how to test the approval condition by choosing either tested field or tested variable. Then finish up by entering filter information to determine how the condition is evaluated. By allowing you to set up your approvers, assign them to the appropriate approval chains, create rules unique to your business, and define the conditions of when those rules are activated, Salesforce CPQ makes it easy to take control of your approvals processes like never before. To find out more, take our admin trail.